We're gonna read a story about Mix It Up by T. Albert, illustrated by myillustrations.com. Hi, my name is Sally and I live in New York City, the United States of America. It's a chilly, cloudy fall day and the rain is turning into an icy snow mixture. I am bored. Last week, the weather was beautiful when I had to go to school, but it gets dark early now, so I cannot play outside. Now, when I don't have to go to school, there is an early winter storm brewing. I am bored. My big brother Josh is watching his favorite TV program, and as, as usual, he won't let me watch anything I like, or even something we both like. Josh doesn't like to share. I am bored. I don't have any new books to read. I am bored. My mom is listening to the news on the radio and they are talking about the low tempe temperatures and the surprise winter storm that is moving in. I can't even listen to music. I am bored. 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 I said aloud. Sally! My mom called out. If you are so bored, why don't you draw a picture or color? I can't, I said. I am out of paper. Sally was obviously bored. She mopped around the apartment for a while, tried to find something to do. But there was just wasn't anything that interested her. She walked slowly to the window, pressed her nose against the cold glass, and watched the big snowflakes fall from the sky. She looked down and saw that they were already starting to cover the street and sidewalk. Oh, what a terrible day. I am so bored, she said with a sigh. She stayed close to the window and watched some birds land on the telephone wires below her apartment. They look bored too, she said to herself. She watched the cars go up and down the streets as they left their tire cracks in the pure white snow. Across the street, a dog slipped on an icy spot as it chased a cat. She thought she saw the cat turn around and smile, or maybe laugh at the dog as it tried to stop spinning in circles. She giggled as the dog stared, started running but couldn't go anywhere. Its legs were moving but on the ice. Its feet just kept on sliding over the same spot. Josh, you have to see this, she called out, but there was no reply. The snow was coming down faster and faster. Soon, it was really deep. She saw people with shovels trying to clean the sidewalk or an area next to the street so they could park their car. Some people were walking with open umbrellas that looked like they were made of thick white cotton candy. She licked her lips as she imagined how good a cotton candy umbrella would taste. Again, she saw the cat and dog slipping and sliding on the slippery sidewalk. She thought for a second and tried to say, slipping and sliding on the slippery sidewalk three times very fast without making a mistake. Wow, that is hard, she thought to herself. Farther up the street, she saw a man with two little boys starting to roll little ball of snow into big ones. What are they doing? She mumbled to herself. She watched them for several more minutes as they stacked the ball of snow on top of one another. She pressed her nose against the window for a closer look. A snowman! She shrieked with joy. They are building a snowman! Mom, can I go out and play? Sally yelled out to her mother. Dress warm, her mother replied. Be sure to stay close and come in before dark. In under a minute, Sally was outside playing with her friends and having a lot of fun. Oh, she wasn't bored anymore either. The afternoon passed and Sally's mother knew she would be coming in soon. She also knew that she would probably be chilly and would appreciate a hot cup of cocoa. Her mother thought for a second as she looked out the window to check on Sally. All of a sudden, Josh heard his mother laughing. Josh, you have to come and see this. She cackled. 
He did and they both laughed at the dog chasing the cat and slipping and sliding on the slippery sidewalk. Josh, I am going to make some hot cocoa for your sister when she come in. Would you like a cup? You bet, replied Josh. His mother always made the best hot cocoa. Hmm, now let me see. Which special recipe should I use from the pick and sip hot cocoa recipes? Their mother thought as she looked over to their favorites. Pick and sip hot cocoa basic hot cocoa ingredients makes about two large of three medium sized servings. One eight cup cocoa powder, one fourth cup sugar, one eight teaspoon salt, three tablespoon water, two cups milk, and one half teaspoon vanilla extract. Hot cocoa directions in a medium sized pot mix together the cocoa powder, sugar, and a salt. Stir in water, cook over medium heat, and stir it constantly until it starts to boil. Continue stirring mixture for about one to, to one and a half minutes. Add milk and stir constantly until hot but not boil. Remove from heat, add the vanilla, and whisk until foamy. Pour into your favorite mugs, serve, and enjoy. Pick and sip variation, add the following ingredients when you mix in the vanilla extract. Pirate's pleasure, one splash of ground cinnamon and one splash nutmeg. What a splash, about one half of a one eighth teaspoon. Loco mocha cocoa, one teaspoon instant coffee. Southern bell, one fourth teaspoon mint extract. Fruit frenzy, one fourth teaspoon of your favorite fruit extract, like orange or cherry, North Woods, one fourth teaspoon maple syrup, BCB, one fourth teaspoon honey. Hot cocoa toppers, whipped cream, marshmallow whipped cream, or marshmallow sprinkled with sugar or candy bits, softened ice cream. Hot cocoa, sterile cinnamon stick candy cane, peppermint stick, or licorice whip. I think I'll make the Southern Bell hot cocoa top with vanilla ice cream and use as a candy cane stirrer, she said to herself. Just as she finished cooking, the door opened and a red chick, Sally, came in and took off her gloves, coat, hat, scarf, and boots. What the wonderful smell, Sally said with a smile. I hope it's what I think it is. All three sat and sipped the hot cocoa while Sally told them about her adventures outside. Sally giggled and said, and I thought I was bored. <laughs>